What's up everyone, Alex here. Today I want to talk about the novelization for one of my favorite action RPGs of all time, Ease 8 Lacrimosa of Donna. Just saying that kind of tells you that I love Ease 8, and it's been a part of so many lists I've made on the channel that when I heard that there was a novelization, I naturally got curious. Now, keep in mind that I'm typically an audiobook kind of person. I am sadly somebody who falls asleep when I read books, so you can expect me to approach this book from that perspective. And if you empathize with that or you're just a longtime reader, my hope is that you get a lot of info just by watching this video. So first and foremost, this is an adaptation. Now what does that mean? This means that the story you'll be reading was adapted from a different media. You've seen this before, whether it's comic books to movies, movies to video games, or books to TV shows. Adaptation is a great way to introduce a new audience to something that exists in other media, which means it happens all the time. The catch-22 is that the people responsible for the adaptation need to understand the emotional core of the source material in order to properly convey the original's intent. With Ease 8, the challenge is not to basically fill pages with a bunch of Adol kills monsters in this clearing and populating almost the entire book with 90% gameplay. That's definitely a recipe for disaster. Because really, like, do we really care about hearing Adol go back to base every time there's a new raid happening? I don't think so. So I basically approach this book from that perspective that changes will happen. And whether or not these changes are successful, well, I'm gonna tell you now, it's actually really, really good. Anna Kashina is an award-winning author, and she got interested in Lacrimos of Dana, much like most of us. She actually really enjoyed the story. And when she decided to tackle writing this novel, she immediately understood that she couldn't just do what I just mentioned, which is just slap the gameplay on there as if it was nothing. She really had to ask herself what was at the core of Lacrimosa of Dana, which of course are the story, the characters, and of course the adventure and the exploration. Those are the kinds of things that she really focused on in the novel. And in moments where you feel like, okay, this is where gameplay is supposed to be, she actually punctuates the prose with tons of characterization. Typically, when you adapt something from one media to another, sometimes you can go a little overboard, and Anna actually has this very measured characterization for each of the characters that still feels like an extension or even an expansion of the events of Ease 8. In addition to the characterization, Anna really focused on the exploration aspect of the game, and I think what's really fascinating about this is that she was able to really capture those really intense moments in an effortless way that it made me want to keep reading. I think what's magical about being somebody who actually finished a game and reading this adaptation is seeing all of these new elements that really give us an appreciation of both the story that we're reading and also the original source material. In fact, I would say that Ease 8 Lacrimos of Dana's novelization is actually very complementary to the experience that we had in the actual game itself. What's more is that this novel is very thoughtful and really reads like it's coming from a fan. But not just any fan, this isn't any sort of fan fiction. All the characters are portrayed in fantastic fashion, and all of the events from the game are really portrayed with a different lens that allows our imagination to finish the picture that's being painted. And thankfully, again, if you played the game, you can easily use all that imagery to build out these scenes, which is truly amazing. The last thing I'll say about this book is that I was really amazed how much this book gripped me. Granted, I already know a lot of the events that are happening, but there is so much to Ease 8 Lacrimosa of Dana that I guess I took for granted while I was playing it that Anna actually took the time to magnify and really focus on in the book. In fact, the novelization actually allows us to peer in closer to some of the events that transpired in the game, but also further humanize the characters within, not just as NPCs, but actual people with very real stakes. And again, this has to be said because the novel isn't actually taking away from the experience of playing the game, it's actually enhancing it further and further the more you read it. 
I would reluctantly call it some sort of remastering or a remaking of Ease 8, the video game, but in many cases, it kind of feels that way, creating this really gripping adventure that makes me just actually want to play through Ease 8 again. And so, Ease 8 Lacrimos of Dana, the novelization, would I recommend it? Absolutely. This is a book that Ease 8 fans should pick up, even if you're not a fan of reading books or anything like that, because it really does add so much to the original game that you might just be like me and want to play through Ease 8 all over again. Now, with the added information and detail that the novelization adds to it. At any rate, I want to hear what you think of this. Post your thoughts in the comments below and let's talk about it. Thank you very much for watching everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.